Hey loves, you are always being guided perfectly to your specific person. And I'm explaining exactly how and why in this video. And I can tell you, you already have the ability to do this, to always know, am I on the path or am I not on the path? But we may not realize that we, again, already have this ability right here and now and can utilize it. So throughout the manifestation process, throughout life, I would even say, everyone is going to have this agreement of, or they think negative emotions and feelings are bad, not good. We can never use them. There's no use for them. Um, but that's actually not the case at all. And we can actually utilize these to our benefit in the same way that we can use positive and uplifting emotions. And when we think of positive and uplifting emotions, we automatically know and it makes a lot of sense why these things are good, right? We like feeling good. We like feeling loved. We like feeling abundant. We like feeling wealthy. We like feeling committed to. All of those make a lot of sense why we want those. Um, but totally on a different subject, if I were to ask you right now, would you like a way to know if you are being guided to your manifestation or not. Would you like that if I were to give you a compass and say, here you go, would you take that? Would you be like, oh my gosh, that's the best thing that I could ever have, right? And then I'll know exactly where to go, how to get there. I'll know if I'm not on the right path and I'll be able to do this every single day. Um, and you'd be like, yeah, okay, give that to me, Kyle. What, what is this? What is this compass? Because I do have this compass. You actually already have the compass. Um, and it actually is the result of our intuition and our feelings. That's your compass. And right now you're still probably, you either know where I'm going with this or you're like, I still don't get it. How do I already have this compass? If I already had the compass that is going to take me directly to my manifestation, I would be using it already. Um, but it is our positive and our negative emotions that are telling us, where to go and where not to go. And this actually is an idea I talked about a long, long time ago, but it recently was occurring or coming up a lot in my coaching sessions. So I thought I might as well reiterate it here because I think this is something that would help a lot of people out. So remember, how do we feel when we are getting into the state of the wish fulfilled? Would you say we have a lot of positive emotions, right? Well, we're supposed to match our end state with the, or basically we're supposed to assume that we've already have exactly what we desire. And these assumptions, again, they are above and beyond what feelings are because it's just like that feeling as if it's already here. Um, but as you align all of your uh, thoughts, beliefs, actions, and emotions with that outcome, the quicker you actually see that thing come into your reality. So we know when something is feeling very good and positive, we are definitely in that end state or we're, we are definitely focused on exactly what we desire. But remember, the same thing works in the opposite. If you begin to feel very not so positive, not so good, that means your compass is focused in the way that you don't want to go, right? And a lot of the times what happens if, well, let's say you were in the woods and you had a compass, you wanted to go north and it pointed south, what would you do? You'd be like, oh, I'm going the wrong way. And then you would switch it immediately and you would go the way that you actually wanted. But what happens when we're approached with negative thoughts, feelings, and emotions? What do we do at that point? At that point, we worry, we figure out, why am I feeling this way? This is horrible, this is disastrous. Um, I'm ruining my manifestation. But if you were to be in the woods with your compass and pointed south and you kept walking south, that would be insane, right? And you to complain about continuously walking south, it wouldn't make any sense. So why do we do the same thing when it comes to our manifestation? Um, because we could take, for example, or we could bring about a couple ideas that are going to give about this idea that when you feel bad, you're focused on something less than positive, And when you're feeling good, you're focusing on your outcome. And again, all of your assumptions harden into fact in your reality. So let's take, for example, the instance that you message your specific person and they don't respond for a couple hours and you think they hate my guts. That How does that make you feel? You say very not good. 
your assumptions are going to harden into fact in your reality. So if we really get under that assumption, because we get to pick any assumption that we want, if we're under that assumption that they dislike us, they don't want to talk to us, we're not interesting enough, that's an assumption we're taking upon. But it feels not good. So this means it is not because at your core, you are love and you are positivity. So when something doesn't align with that, we don't feel good. And that's why it feels bad. But how would it feel to know that our specific person is busy or even trying really, really hard to respond to us because they want to respond in the best way possible? How does that make you feel? Makes you feel very good. And actually discusses a recent idea I had, um, I've made a video about, in which when, whatever you're assuming, it's a reframing. So as you reframe things in your external reality, you see that assumption begin to change. Because remember, you have all of your manifestations alive within you. So whatever we want to assume on a situation is going to be the actual situation. It's going to be your reality. So make sure you're picking and choosing the correct ones. But again, how does it feel when we are really focusing on something very positive? We feel very good. And so this means it's aligning with your desires. Because how many times do you desire something bad, right? Um, not so often, but if your desires were to somehow align with something not so good and the desire to feel bad would be that they, your SP hates your guts because they're not texting back in two hours, that would then feel good. Um, so remember, it's all about the, f the compass is giving us perfect directions to exactly what we want. Um, so never ever utilize your negative emotions to your benefit rather than worrying or fearing that they're causing massive trouble or problems in your reality because they don't have to. Again, they can be the perfect reason as to why you get to exactly where you wanna go. And bouncing off of this idea, we can actually also use this same concept to actually help with previous things that you've done in the past that you don't want to repeat. So remember, let's say you did something not so positive in the past. Maybe you, you again, going off of the specific person manifestation idea, let's say you stalked your specific person's social media, got mad, and then you messaged them, I hate your guts or something, I don't know. Because again, all of our assumptions are hardening, hardening into fact. So if, that, if that's what we're assuming, that's the reality we're gonna live out. And let's say that happened, and after you're like, I probably shouldn't have done that. But always remember, no matter what, if you do something like this, remember that you can never mess up a manifestation. It's all coming from the state that you're in. So if we just switch states, we're going to see a total change in our external reality. But let's say we do this and we think, that's bad. I wish I never did that. Blah, 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 right? Well, we could actually, our negative emotions towards that, we can reframe and actually it could be the negative emotions as to the reason why we never do that again. Because think about two different aspects of that less than positive thing happening. We can look at it and say, that was horrible. I'm really scared I'm going to do that again, right? I really hope I don't fall into that trap. It scares me and you can then fear it. Or you could say, during that time, I did not feel good. So during the time that I messaged and had this whole thing in my mind about my SP hating my guts, I did not feel good at all. And that's why I'll never do it again, right? So in that case, we're utilizing what we thought in the past, a negative emotion that wasn't so good, we then begin utilizing it to our benefit. Because right, if you're like, that's the reason I'll never do that again, that's awesome. And then you really have that conviction. And sometimes a really intense conviction towards what we want is the only thing that is going to push us past and get us into that really abundant and positive and wish fulfilled state. So really conviction is really um, positive and powerful. Um, so try these, try both these ideas out. Remember, negative emotions aren't working against you. You can utilize them to their benefit. Just like every assumption in your reality is going to work out for you, begin assuming that anything negative is actually working out in your favor um, in the same way of kind of reframing everything to work out. But again, utilizing past events that you did not necessarily like, they could be the exact reason why you refuse to ever fall into that state ever again. 
But if you did have any questions on this video, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video. And then also don't forget to subscribe. If you did want to send me a personal message or wanted to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching, head over to my website, kyleaugustcoaching.com. Uh, but thank you so much for stopping by today. Uh, I really am excited for you to try this idea out because I know sometimes uh, negativity can kind of get to us. Uh, but try it out and then let me know all of your successes. Uh, but again, thanks for stopping by and I can't wait to see you in the next video.